A local animal rescue is inviting you to pause for a cause next month. Here representing Hookston Animal Rescue Team is volunteer and foster dad, Brad Swanson, as well as his little foster dog, Scamp. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Well, introduce us <laughs> to your little foster pup this here. Scamp, as you can tell, he's a little lap dog. Um, <laughs> not real sure how old he is. My guess would be maybe five or six. Okay. Um, he's, he's definitely an adult dog. He's not a puppy. Um, he's housebroken and, um, you know, is crate trained and all that. So, uh, does a good job with all of those things. <laughs> what, is um, the, what is the breed? He's a mix of I'm, something, I think. We're pretty sure he's a dachshund chihuahua mix. So kind of a dachshund body, a long, slim body, but the ears are a dead giveaway of the chihuahua in him. Um, so he, like I said, he's a lap dog. He's a lover. He gets attached to you and he just wants to Very, be right next uh, to you. Looking rather skeptically <laughs> yes. at the Triple J or camera guy here. <laughs> He's not real sure where we're at or yeah. what's going on with oh, all the lights. Just looking aren't you? around. Yeah. So who would make a good um, Forever Family for Scampier? So because of the breed, um, Dachshunds and Chihuahuas both tend to be kind of protective and uh, like you said, uh, uh, they can kind of question what's going on around them. I think um, somebody that doesn't have other pets would probably be a good idea. And maybe even uh, somebody who lives alone, you know, because um, I wouldn't be surprised if he got attached to one person or the other in a couple and then was protective of that person, which could cause some issues. So. Oh, yeah. um, he gets along well with me, obviously, as you can tell. As he's um, longingly yeah. looking, he is, at looking you. straight in your yep. eyes. For when, <laughs> when I have friends over, the you know friends that come over on a regular basis, he gets along great with, um, and you know it jumps right up on their lap and gives them kisses as well. But um, he he can be protective. Even he can be protective of me from my other dogs, um, and if they are roughhousing or um, playing, he'll bark at them like. You guys stop it and you want them calm down. You, right? Yeah, exactly. What is so. the? Pro I know every rescue kind of has their own criteria and plan for how they find the right people sure. for the dogs with yep. heart. How does that work? So um, there's an application process on their website, um, heartrescue.org. Um, I have been volunteering with them for a little over a year now as a foster. Um, they're located in Hoopston, and they are a brick and mortar shelter. Um, we've been on several times before, so thank you for that. Um, they're looking to expand their shelter right now because they are kind of overcrowded, and that's part of the reason I decided to foster for them is, you know, any dog I take into my house um, is one less dog that they have to yeah. um, have at the shelter. So well, you've um, got a great yeah. event coming up with Heart to yes. help all these dogs and animals yes. have have some comfort. <laughs> yes, it's a constant fundraising process for the organization. So uh, coming up at the VFW, uh, the Pause for a Cause cookout on March 7th there um, from 5 to 7 is dinner and then um, there's entertainment that goes after that. So yeah. people can check out the info there on the screen or um, on the Facebook page. On page. Facebook. There yep. you go. Now, I, I, I'm assuming, Scout, you were just fostering Scout. You haven't Scamp. adopted. Scamp. Scamp. Goodness gracious, sorry. Scamp. It's okay. It's close. <laughs> um, it's a foster situation. Yes. Clearly, if you don't know his name, <laughs> not the dog for you. Yep. Um, so up for grabs is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah he's available right now. Um, Sorry, if, if somebody Sorry doesn't it. adopt him soon, he may end up being my third dog. We'll I know. see. Um, it seems very I've already, attached. I've already foster failed once with, uh, with Hart. So yeah. uh, the second, my second dog um, was one that I fostered for about six months, and then oh. he couldn't go away. So yeah. well, he is definitely. You've cuddling. got a friend for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure that's going to be difficult. <laughs> but uh, if you want more details on how you can adopt this dog right here that name is not Scout, <laughs> <laughs> you can go to uh, our website. We'll get you all the details at ciliving.tv. We'll have all the information on that cookout as well, so you can help them out in the process. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate yep. it. Yep. Thanks for having us.